You know who's really tacky? Who? Annie. Annie is so tacky. Yeah, I know, right? Annie's so tacky. So, I don't know how they came up with the name for this week's move, but it's called the Tacky Annie, and it shows up all the time in Lindy Hop. I'm Rebecca Brightly of RebeccaBrightly.com, and this week marks the beginning of part two of the Lindy Hop Steps Made Easy series. Woo! Sandwiches! Woo! Woo! Sandwiches! 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 Dance World Takeover with Rebecca and Paul. All right, so the Tacky Annie, it's a really simple move, uh, but it shows up all the time in Lindy Hop. In fact, it's the fourth move in the Shim Sham solo jazz routine after the stomp drags, uh, the break step, and the crosses. So, you gotta know it. There's two main variations on the Tacky Annie that I've seen, uh, and here's the first one. Tap, step, tap, step, tap, step, tap, step, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But this looks a little bit boring. So let's add a little bit of flavor. First, we're gonna add a little bit of pulse, an upward downward movement, or a little bit of bounciness. Tap, step, tap, step, tap, step. Okay, so you can see how my heels are lifting off the floor a little bit. Just a little bit, not a lot. No, because that looks really silly. Just a little bit, just enough to make it look jazzy. Next, you really want to do something with your arms. It's a simple move, and I don't really care what you do with your arms, as long as you're not hanging there lifeless. Or like frozen stiff, because that doesn't look very good either. Look, this looks very ridiculous. So you can, hang, uh, you can swing them back and forth, or you can hold them out to the side. Both of those look pretty good. And then make sure you still got your pulse going on. So let's do version two now. In version one, we saw that I tapped my foot next to the other foot, like this. In version two, we're gonna take that tap straight back. Tap, step, tap, step, tap, step, tap, step. So again, adding a little bit of bounciness here is crucial. Otherwise, you look bored. or confused. Adding a little bit of pulse in arm movements immediately makes your dancing look more confident. So speaking of confidence, don't look at the floor when you're doing any kind of solo jazz move. Practice looking at the wall right in front of you. So whenever you happen to be dancing in front of real life people, you have the muscle memory to look up as opposed to which doesn't look as good. So there it is, the Tacky Annie. I hope it made you feel cheesy and kitschy and tasteless, or perhaps gooey and gummy. You like that? I can use a thesaurus. Next week, you're gonna learn scissor kicks, which is a much harder move, and then later on down the line, this whole series is gonna culminate in a second solo jazz routine. So, keep watching. In the meantime, if you want more fun, hard things to work on, you can subscribe to my monthly video challenges at lindymakers.com or get free weekly dance tips by signing up for my weekly newsletter at rebeccabrightly.com slash hell yes. See you next week. See you next week. That's not how I wanted to do that. I wanted to wave. <laughs> I'm just like, like a Lee Brock. One feet away. It's like a Lee Brock's anyway.